Also, here's a really quick fix if your predator sense isn't working. For me, this was brand new and my predator sense just stuck. I couldn't do anything or change the RGB lighting or even uh, manipulate my performance settings. I looked up for so many videos on uh, YouTube and also tried searching through the ASA community and finally found out the solution that actually best worked for me. This could be one of the solutions that actually works for you as well. Anyways, before we dive right into it, uh, you're going to have to identify what your model is. So for this, there's a specific detection tool that you could find on the ASA website, or I'll leave the link for you in the description below. You can use this, identify the model number, and then head to the ASA's dedicated website for their apps and other tools that you can download to optimize your ASA laptop. I'll leave this link as well in the description below for your ease or convenience. Uh, once you identified your model, enter this right into the search bar that you see in the website and it will show all of the details of your specific laptop. Scroll all the way down to applications and then look up for Predator Sense. Before you make the download, make sure you sort it by dates. Uh, look up for the most recent update. And in this case, I'm gonna be clicking this one. Uh, download the file, extract it, and install it but do not run the application once you're done with your installation make sure you open the file and run the appx bundles that you can find inside the uwp file these are dotnet framework files once you run it uh, okay, there's going to be so many appx files in here and you might not know what works for you so just keep clicking all and installing them and one of them is definitely going to work or support for your specific model i had to do the same way like i i couldn't figure out which one was for my model so i had to click each and every one of these weird names and then eventually one of them worked for me and then i launched the application and it just works smooth and have done faced any issues to date anyways that's it for this video uh, i really hope that somebody finds this useful uh, i found the fix so i thought that somebody out there who's just suffering like me might find it useful anyways uh, while you're at it just leave it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel i update regular tech videos i'll leave one of them at the end of this video which you might find interesting or specific to acer products anyways stay subscribed and i hope to see you in my next video